Congo, 1880. A Portuguese expedition is reported missing. Amélia Valin is one of the nurses at the services of missionary Rogério Fonseca, and now she will have to survive in a forgotten world where the line between myth and reality seems blurry. As the chaos unfolds, Amélia will also face ghosts from her past. Will the nurse be able to withstand all the tragedy that is developing? This is the synopsis from our book Amélia, a Congo Story. And today I am here to narrate an infamous scene that you can find in the first few pages. So, let's begin. Amelia looks at some ripples in the water, indicating that something big is coming. The rest of the group remains fearful. Rogério, the leader and missionary, Maria, a nurse, Leonardo, the reporter, Isabel, another nurse, Aristides, the biologist, Amelia herself, and Diogo Silvano, a young hunter trying to follow in the footsteps of his older brother, Carlos Silvano, from the main Congo storyline. Aristides shows his fear as the forest trembles and the group freezes in place. As Amelia screams to run, a huge herd of ceratopsians and melantoca appears, breaking everything in their path. Terrified, the group starts running immediately, with the big animals following close behind, that is, until they come across a small ravine, causing them to fall. With the animals approaching, the group has no time to recover. Maria quickly grabs Amelia by the hand and runs into the shallow water ahead, while the animals catch up to them. While the Amelantoka show no signs of aggression towards the group's members, the situation is still really dangerous, even more so that Maria gets stuck in some algae, begging for Amelia to help, which she tries. While doing so, amidst all the confusion, a humongous animal appears, towering above all the others. No one has ever seen anything even remotely close to it. They're all mesmerized by what they're witnessing. And this is when Maria gets brutally killed by a passing Emelantoka, impaled by its horn. Amelia is left in shock, while Diogo Silvano tries to help her, right as the huge animal, Mokelembembe, passes right by them. This has to mean these animals were fleeing from something, but what could possibly scare such creatures? Leonardo witnesses the answer to this question, men, and they all are quick to hide, as a very large group of British and Belgian military approaches. The British Major grabs a pith helmet from the water, indicating they're not the only humans around. This scene gets even more intense, as does the book, but I don't intend to spoil anymore. We really, really want to have our books published abroad, and we do think everyone seeing this video would probably like that too. So, if you know any comic book publishers in your country that you think would help us in publishing abroad, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell icon. See you next time!